Okay, uh, I have never played SSX Tricky before. I have no idea what it is. I bought it on eBay. So uh, this name is lame, Sublock Game. I have a physical copy and I'm playing it on the PS2. I found out, unfortunately, that the new monitor I got several months ago is incompatible with my Frame Meister. It just doesn't accept the signal. So I'm currently looking at a different monitor that I'm usually looking at. Um, I assume this game is like a skateboarding game or something based on the title and what this name has added before. But like I said, I've never heard of it. Uh, the game audio is really quiet in my ear, but it looks normal in the equalizer, so it might just be the something weird with my monitor. Um, let me know if it's too loud or too Welcome quiet. Welcome to SSX Tricky. I hope you brought warm clothes. Warm clothes? Oh, is this a snowboarding game? Select mode. One or two player head to head competition. World circuit. World circuit. Here's where you show us what you got. World circuit the campaign. Volume's fine. Okay. Practice. Practice. You're in good hands. World circuit. I'm glad you do practice first if it's anything like uh Options. Have it your sound. Reset. What Tasty mix. You... Okay. Uber tricky sound effects. I did have to clear some space in the memory card. It's a little loud. Okay, thanks. Get it down here. Options. Select mode. Let's try Select practice. What are Trick you tutorial. Ready? I like the look Character. of the game. It's alarming that this game is 20 years old. Don't stand so close to the camera, Moby. dude. Eddie. Eddie. Eddie's the default character. Sex is the PlayStation counter to Nintendo 1080. I haven't played either game. I feel like there was some snowboarding game that was on a um, one of those PS1 demo discs that I played. Cool Borders, maybe? Borders. Select venue. Garibaldi. Perfect for the beginner rider. That's me. Canada. A gorgeous addition to the SSX World Circuit, the Garibaldi Run is located in beautiful British Columbia, Canada. This scene is SSX like a real thing, or is this totally fictional? Also hide some of the best hidden treats of the SSX Circuit. If you venture off the main path, be prepared to be challenged. Gotcha. I like the game's aesthetic. It's actually good for 2001, too. Pretty early PS1. PS2, I mean. Two tricks to build your boost bar. You have 20 seconds to get big air. Press and hold R2 for one second, then press square. So I do not have as much control as I might expect. Am I just doing that with the D-pad primarily? Shoulder buttons are tricks. I feel like this game is doing a better job of celebrating trick inputs. 
for a newbie player at least. Something that even in Tony Hawk 3 and 4, which were still generally really well done. Oh, is the D-pad an... Okay. Is this all supposed to be with the analog stick? That must have been why I was stuck there. Because like, it doesn't seem like I can move left and right very much. But I can use the D-pad to, like, turn without moving where I am. Oh, I like that control better than Tony Hawk as well. I think Tony Hawk's approach to just, like, kind of just displaying the tricks back-to-back -back and having you do lots of them back-to-back -back is probably better for, like, a skateboarding enthusiast. D-pad is for spin and flip tricks, analog for steering and air corrections. So there's different tricks on each of the four uh, shoulder buttons. All of these real tricks, or is the physics in this game, like, absurd in places like it is in Tony Hawk? Mm. Yeah, the graphics and the control feel are both really good and impressed. I don't remember what Cool Borders felt like, but it wasn't clean like this? Clean is the word that comes to mind. What else has this developer done? It might be that having an approach to course design like this that's more like an auto-scroller works better for my brain than kind of the more open-world stuff in uh, Tony Hawk. You can do impossible stuff eventually. Accessible stands. <laughs> does the practice level end eventually, or does it find a way to like loop? Almost landed that. If I didn't just like care. I planned it, only bad. Just playing on one of the courses. Okay. What sorts of things break my combo in this? Just bailing in any way? Or is there a combo? Let's see that tricky thing on the right side of the screen. Let me try this again. Oh, it didn't give me a lot of oh. Combos or anything? Try one more here. Ah, uh, okay. Wipeout is the word I've always heard for what well, I guess we learned skateboarders call bailing. So that's surfing slash snowboarding. Boost bar builds via doing tricks without Snow failing, is that right? The first and most friendly course of the SSX circuit, but the designers here in Japan have decided to expand and upgrade the challenges. This year's course is not only faster, but trickier with numerous new paths. Really cool courses. Tricks over your boost bar, 20 seconds to get big air. There's no R2 for one second and press square. Tricks equal boost. Boost equals speed. Talk about hitting bottom. 
No, I absolutely. I think I like the format better. Reminds me more of like a like a racing game. Silver Dan, how are you doing? It's hard to rock a rhyme. Appreciate that. How you been? So what's the... What should I be doing by default? Should I be trying to do one or two tricks in the air and then just trying really hard not to wipe out to build the meter on the right in order to do a super super trick at the end. I think this looks really good for 2001. This game's 20 years old. This game's almost old enough to drink. It will be this year. I guess I play a lot of games from a lot of years, so... <laughs> I have what 2001 looks like, a little bit fresher in my mind. How do you know how much area you're going to get from a jump? Is it just based on speed when you're approaching the hill, or is it just knowing the course to know how much room there is after the jump? They currently have no feel for that here in the first 10 minutes or so. I guess I can look at each of the different racers' stats to see if there's a stat that I can understand a little bit better. Oops. Speed and size of ramp. I meant to go up off the sides of ramps to try to do tricks. I did that by accident earlier and it looked like it let me get away with it. Like here, for example. Not like that. I think you I gotta get a kill for it. Yes! 11 wipeouts. Just that bad. No, I'm very bad at this genre, Sailor Dan. This name put me through uh, Tony Hawk 1, 2, 3, and 4, and I started out extremely bad at Tony Hawk 1 and ended only mostly bad at Tony Hawk 4. For another go round at the Elysium Alps. The Leon based designer decided to make this year's course look similar. Spins and flips, class, you hold the D pad direction while you're still holding X waiting to jump. Some improvements will be obvious, but others will require a keen eye. Trick tutorial lets you do just one big jump. So I can, you're saying I can like preload the D pad direction for spins? So it's, it's similar to like priming a, a jump itself in something like Tony Hawk. Okay, that's kind of cool. I appreciate that the D-pad is for spin and the analog stick is for movement. Um, Needing to use both in Tony Hawk was very frustrating for me. I feel like I got way more air there than I was expecting, and I don't know why. I can see my house from here. Give it to me. Was this a whole like franchise where there were a bunch of SSX games?
Is my boost bar like decaying over time as I fail to continue to do tricks? It looks like I definitely lose it whenever I wipe out. I like that it's stylized. Should I generally not be, like in um, Tony Hawk, it was basically always correct to be holding X to prep to jump or something. Is that less true in this one? Do I have a better maneuverability if I'm not crouched down like that? Isn't there like some crazy giant uh, open world snowboarding game right now? Is that, is that steep? better when you're not holding X. Maybe it makes you faster but less maneuverable. Oh, that explains a lot. Part of why I was crashing a lot before. Okay. I basically was just holding X the whole time. Now, is there any way, once I've committed to pressing X, letting off it is always going to lead to me jumping, right? There's no way for me to cancel out of being crouched down. stick do anything? Looks like it's making him do something with his arms. Oh, going back on the analog stick lets you turn sharper at the cost of speed. Maybe I should just try to like complete the course without trying to do tricks just to kind of get the maneuver the maneuvering controls down better. Right six shoves at once. <laughs> That's fine. One of those games. He's fine. SSX complete the course. I like the course design a lot. I like the physics on <laughs> the guy's afro. Usually game devs aren't committed to using their PS2 era character model physics on afros. Okay, so it looks like if I push forward on the stick, is that effectively holding X but without holding X so I can let off without jumping? I wonder if I can move to, I can try to break the uh, muscle memory from Tony Hawk and just let, don't touch the X button unless I specifically want to jump. You know? Yeah, I've been playing for about 19 minutes. So if I'm if I'm speeding up by holding up on the D-pad, if I just tap the X button, I'm not going to get a full height jump. Talk about hitting bottom.
Okay, that's all we can do here, so let's go to the campaign. Uh, I'm still extremely bad at this, and I apologize, but I've never played it before. So, hopefully I'll get a handle on it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a single Uber trick today, to be honest. We'll see. Welcome to... Let's this is like the campaign, right? I guess we can stick with Eddie. Hello, well, let's see. Eddie. Who do you want to play with? Eddie. 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 Speed, civility, tricks. Oh, I didn't realize it's some of them had unlock requirements. Okay. Makes sense. Eddie. Is edging cornering? things to get the outfits so that's cool. customized board go for style and substance set up rider profile you are rider's rider profile. profile edward wachowski get the dirt on each racer's personal and performance characteristics enemy moby favorite movie enter the dragon beyond the pale or behold the pillars Set up kit. Okay. Select event. Paper outfits. Show off. Race. Oh, it is Select more like a racing game in general. Okay. Snowdrop. So you can either race, or you can try to. You can see who gets to the end first, or you can see who gets the highest trick score. Okay, so it's like coins and Mario Kart. I guess conceptualizing this as maybe being fundamentally Gorgeous more like a racing the game SSX than a World Circuit, the Tony Hawk Rock type game. Is located in beautiful British Columbia, Canada. This seemingly obvious wide open and fast first course also hides some of the best hidden treats of the SSX Circuit. If you venture off the main path, be prepared to be challenged. Hidden treats. Do you think they have to like airdrop people into those stands? Have to, like parachute in. Has to be Eddie Wachowski. Lots of fans of this crazy character. Well, that's kind of cool. Hey, like Luther! That. How'd you fit that board in your trailer? You smell like the seat of my swamp buggy, wimp. 20 seconds to get big air. No friends to watch your back today. Stay sharp out there. We gotta save the Rick Center, guys. Probably fail. Go. How you doing out there? This is Rozelle. Give me welcome to Garibaldi. Mm -hmm. Now you're getting it. Oh. Nothing. It is men who are going to toil and bear dangers that achieve. Am I like off the track right now? Surprised they let me do that. I expect it to be like invisible walls or something. That is good. That is very good. The word of the day is ow. Do I get rewards for holding a single trick for longer, or is it better to like try to do multiple tricks?
trick slips. It just make me get more. Does it just increase my meter for free when I touch it, or does it make ensuing tricks more effective or something? Player one, take control, number two. Teach myself to take the uh, my thumb off the X button. I've already committed to it now, so I'm waiting for an opportunity to let off it here. Facing backwards, is it fine? Or am I gonna have problems when I'm facing backwards like that? I appreciate the arcadey stuff that lets you like get away with uh, brushing up against a rock wall, right? Thank you. Okay, it's hard for me to reach chat during that. Shortcuts. Ranging paths for all tracks. Yeah, air drop into the sand to get to watch 5% of the race. One of these videos is the wind up time makes multiple. Downhill skiers hit, skiers hit 90 miles an hour. I will never ski. Andrea has talked about how she knows so many people who have, like, Got an horribly injured skiing. Good. Trick boost allows you to do everything faster, like spins and flips. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I appreciate the rubber banding because I'm bad. Every combination of shoulder buttons is a unique trick, and there's a repetition penalty. Oh, if you said that earlier, I must have missed it. Sorry to say. Left bar must be entirely relative. Backwards is riding switch, which is the same as in skateboarding, right? Time to prove yourself in the semi final. Next heat. No enemies in today's race. Have fun with this. This is a friend. That's an interesting mechanic. Looks like the little banding is kind enough that we should be okay. Paleo Stalefish! Paleo Stalefish. Player one, your 
breaking trail for the rest of them. I think I shoved that guy. Nice. Went left last time, I guess I'll try going right. See how that's faster, it's nice. Have to crash next time. And I'm dead. Should have stayed conservative there. Is the minus or plus time at the top like the difference between me and the person in front of me or the person in first or something. You said my max speed is generally higher when uh, my tricky meter on the right is higher too. finish and in record time you didn't hold back at all yeah the music is great keep it up in the next race next heat you see how hard they get hammered on youtube for this one I guess it might be too late to make this warning, but parts of this VOD might be muted for copyright. No I'll do my best to... Go. Like, comment on what that muted in the description if something gets muted. Whoa, why did... Hold on, can I... Restart... Does this restart the whole thing, or does this restart the... I'll just try to keep going. Hey, Cowery! Check out the view back here! It's like I couldn't... Maybe it's because I pressed the D-pad for part of it and was trying to fix it with the analog stick. I was trying to pull down to straighten out and it didn't let me. Whoa, it happened again. Hey, I guess I kind of straightened out, though. Excuse me! boost the best way to get speed to like can I generally get a profit on the tricky meter by using boost on purpose to get more speed for a jump yay rubber banding saving my life Yeah, 
I need to have a big jump for this, right? That's pretty funny. Lazy boy air. Uh, I mean, all these guys are ZLs. I was expecting to not land it ever. But it's mostly because I did violence towards another racer and not because I was good at the game. Front side, 180. Come on, rubber banding, don't fail me now. Player one, get out the knitting needles. Stale fish. See, and I get a letter of the word tricky each time that I perform an uber trick and I'm trying to spell the whole word out before the race is over. But we're good at the game. Saving the day again. To restart. Flips are only possible from preloads. I came, I saw, I kicked some booty. Hold the meter, then use the boost. Doesn't make it go down. I believe the expression is grease light. Faster, more air, more complicated tricks. Your tricks max out your meter again. You can boost liberally when you're in tricky mode. You can keep the tricks going and keep the boost going. Oh, if you spell out tricky, you get infinite boost for the rest of the run. That's cool. Congratulations! The tour continues. Stay sharp. You've earned the ranking of rookie. Congratulations, Eddie. You have earned valuable experience points. Oh damn. So sorry, someone may have answered this when I asked earlier. Edging is I'm juvenile for laughing at that. Is that basically just cornering? Ah! Stability. To rookie for different things. The ranking and board, equip your writer with new advanced board for the board option on the character screen. Your setup. Custom, customized board. Snowboarding parlance.
We head to the slopes of a series of tight bumps. Japan's mountain range, Snow Dream. Our new season finds the layout so different from last year's that riders might not recognize it as an old friend. Only the tasteful resort, hot springs, and colorful Japanese ski culture assures us that this is the same track. <laughs> the tasteful resort. A driver story, including the tasteful look scene. One of the race's favorites has to be Eddie Wachowski. Lots of fans of this crazy guy. Look at that crowd. Great. This is you the and me, we're going to be getting some airtime, baby. Absolutely! Wow, they all live from different video games. You've got friends in the pack today. Should be a good race. The whole idea of having friends is kind of cool. You're listening to the soundscapes of Razel. Is that only a uh, campaign thing? Yeah, sorry, whenever there's a word that starts with WH like that. Oh, it's like saying robot instead of robot. Ooh. What? Cool. Oh, Squirrel air. Sure. Okay, so if I think of the tricks as more analogous to like pressing the little button in your Mario Kart 8 when you do a hop in order to get a small speed boost in the air. They build up over time. But I was gonna fall there. Sometimes I think I'm about to get a big jump. Is it generally only jumps that are conveyed with the little red arrow? Hey, who put that there? It's not that situation. No! I think it's just a finish in top three. Bravo, second place. And in when you shove time. people, it gets worse. You're uh, charging on the race. Don't get cocky. Mm hmm. But yeah, in Mario Kart 8, they added a thing so that when you jump, you can like press the button in midair and your character goes like, ah, and that gives them like a very tiny speed boost every time you do it. Not a it looks like this one does that, and then it's adding onto a meter that's getting better and better. So it's kind of a mix of that and the coin system from Mario Kart 8. If I don't get first place in all the missions, it's still possible to get a goal. It's just based on what the other folks are doing. Like getting gold in Mario Kart. Switch. 
experimental here. Shit. Was I actually grinding on my pole before? It didn't look like it. It was allowing me to ride on it, but... It wasn't doing like a special interaction with the, the rail. Switch nuclear. Okay, that makes sense. I think the rubber banding checks to see if you wiped out, regardless of how like that actually affects your speed or your location. And it, the, it gets faster to punish you, which is smart. Oh, come on, game. Seriously? That sucks. Oh, it happened. Oh my god. I'm just trying to fix this. Oh my god. Let's restart this heat. Grinding's a thing, but there's no button for it. My friends are less likely to shove me, basically. They're gonna get that speed boost. Could do it because of the speed boost, so hey, the trick boost. Get used to this view. That only apply to the very next trick that I do. single trick that's enough to fully fill my meter. Looks like if I do violence towards other people that'll fully fill my meter all at once, right? Middle space in the final. Starting boost based on finish in the heat. Raining is things a button for it could be brutal. If you lose momentum in a bad place, fill out one jump and in practice. I'm not sure how many big enough jumps there are. Okay. Well done. I like this system of trick stringing. Into 
I guess it's probably not fair to compare it to Tony Hawk because it's a different genre of game, but. Can't get much higher than this, folks. It's the finals. appreciate how forgiving this game is generally when I touch walls. There's that one tight area there where touching the wall is going to be killed. But... Wow, he gave that to me. I'm wasn't expecting that. Does it like try to give it to you? Like, even if it looks like you're not gonna make it? Okay, there it, it did not. Those are situations where I absolutely would have failed in Tony Hawk. I like the heat format too, as opposed to like multiple laps. Because if you have people who are really good at this game, like the bonus tricky meter you get from doing well in the earlier heats would make a difference as to who wins. Two or two or longer. If there's five great one, borders two, in the world, I'm three of them. Congratulations. <gasps> the gold is yours. <sighs> yep. Congratulations. You're moving to the next venue. Well done. You're a contender. I thought maybe it was going to be a Mario Kart scoring system where it's like you have a cup where there are four races and then you get points for each position. So getting gold requires you doing decently well compared to your fellow riders. That's that's how I thought the heats worked at first. Now I understand that they're more like laps, but obviously they can't be laps. Set up character. Select event. Elysium. Elysium helps. Intermediate, uh oh. I'm dead. Eddie looks awful in his portrait there. In returning to France for another go-round at the Elysium Alps, the Lyon-based designer decided to make this year's course look similar at first glance, but very different once you're riding. Some improvements will be obvious, but others will require a keen eye.
Is there a definitive version of this game, or is it basically the same on each platform? You can't defeat the hunger of young Eddie Wachowski. He wants this, folks. This is his dream, and who are we to deny him? Let's get it on, baby, baby. Come on! No enemies in today's race. Have fun with this one. GameCube has fewer shoulder problems. Your hands are filling to the sounds of Rozelle. Get ready for a free fall Nature. here at the Elysium Alps. Now you can. Big air bonus. Experimental. That was L1, and I think that was longer. Maybe it's different for different characters. You can see why people are into this game, though. It's, uh, it's well designed, it's got some pretty tight controls. It's very forgiving. Um, reminds me of like Burnout 3 in terms of how forgiving it is. Tony Hawk is giving me non clinical PTSD around uh, thinking I'm gonna wipe out a bail when I land at certain points. And the game just like, I think this is what you were trying to do, right? I'll just give it to you. Excuse me! The finish line just paid! Lay up stale for Shit. Cornuke. What is the Oh shit. Mm, hey, what's happening? This view ain't so bad! What does the exclamation point mean? If I choose to use my boost from that, it's gonna I'm gonna lose the ability to do an Uber trick. Hey Zoe! I hope my mom isn't watching. I'm gonna need to let off the crouch in this one. The turns are too tight. Hard for me to tell when I can get away with that. People hostile towards me if I push them too much. I like the little fanfare every time you get tricky, that's funny. I hope the game audio is okay to stream. I can barely hear it on this monitor. I switch to it. Heard them say trick A. For not using for using the same trick repeatedly. Oh, 
gave it to me. Look, that's another example where I'm just, I'm gonna crash, I'm gonna crash, I'm gonna crash. Holy shit, I didn't crash. Uh, am I supposed to just go over these? Uh, I don't know what the original intent was for this zone. I guess it's like a catch-up mechanic if someone is ahead of you. Am I supposed to always jump over that, basically? It's weird, we had that part earlier that had glass that I was supposed to under that log with me. I don't think I can even see it. Story of my life. for that section, it's almost impossible to reclaim it. Back to make a sharper turn feels very natural. I like that. We just got Lakitude back onto the track, I guess. Some percentage of these are real tricks, right? Because you know, like the Superman one is not. That's cool. Oh. Yeah, like they're right there. It was like, we, you meant to go over here, right? We're just gonna give it to you. It's fine. 
You certainly weren't meaning to crash there. Do I look at crazy lead at the moment because of that shortcut from earlier? I can't really see where I am relative to the other racers, right? No, 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 no lead. fast to get through here until I'm too slow. That feels like a really awkward like obstacle. I was also bad at navigating it, but Oh, I see. Gotcha. Now, do you just become friends with people when you don't shove them over time? No enemies in today's race. Have fun with this one. I thought that once I was on one of those like grind things, it was it's basically scripted. Challenge 
sound that means that I have lost the ability to do uber tricks. I would have stayed further ahead, I guess. Uh, basically rejoined the main course. Kinds of like little secrets in the course, it's cool. Only I can skip the glass section. Speed problem? Oh, I can just skip the glass part. Maybe. Not now. End of the last run, I avoided that somehow. Second place. You finish second. Down! So you have to get at least in third place to move forward, and then no based on you got in first, people. second, or third, you start with more tricky. Go. This is the finals. I'm so much for my jump there. Epic. There are more things to grind on there. Than we were seeing earlier. Oh, it's pretty satisfying when that fanfare plays. I can see my house from here! Nice spirit. 
I feel like this game you could like snowball pretty easily. If you can get the first few jumps really well. It seems like it gets progressively easier to keep doing jumps after you get the first few jumps. tricky if I do that shortcut up there as long as I don't fall. Was it just building the meter the whole time? I'm not really paying attention to this side of the screen there. tries to funnel you on it, which I appreciate. first time, which is probably why I was so far ahead before. Oh shit, I mean to do that. I really want to try to avoid the area with the glass this time, but I'm right up in the stands. I don't remember exactly where it was. is extra effective on rails if you're already on it. No, sorry. It's hard to look at chat during this game. It's not kind of as real. I just hate how suddenly you lose momentum when you touch this thing. Basically. Okay. Am I able to stay on the sides the whole time? That's what I'm worried about, but I won't be able to maintain that. Sucks at it. Yeah! I just made my own day! Well done. You've won a gold medal. Congratulations. You your board. Top three placing has opened up oh, your new character. Challenge, the Mesa Blanca venue. 
Now, are the stats win. that I've invested in Eddie, do I need to keep playing as Eddie to continue to benefit from those? I think so, right? Natural. Get to the side, cause I'm the bone cracker. The come from behind, I'm the back attacker. You right. board heavy metal. to replay it as everyone's uh, sure. Set up. Cu customize board. Go for style and we missed we got bell bottom. Okay. So are these in addition to whatever my stat cap is? Or do these help me get to the stat cap faster based on which board I have? Select event. Mesa Blanca. Showdown. Southwest USA. That's where I am. It's a combination of your stats and the board stats. Okay. So I have a I have a stat cap independent of my board. A beautiful sunset falls into a cool sky that blankets the almost completely redesigned slopes of Mesa Blanca. The governor called out the National Guard to add more manpower to the awesome task of giving Mesa Blanca a facelift. With a redesigned start area that offers five options and thousands of new grindable shortcuts, Mesa Blanca is good to go. Look at those crowds. Mesa Blanca, I'm KBN, part of Usted, baby. And there's Eddie Wachowski having a stretch. Will the pack let this prankster show his stuff to him? You should be pleased with the lineup for today's race. Go! Mesa Blanca with Eddie Rossell. I'm dead. Really appreciate how quickly it tries to get you back on the race, though. Skateboarding at the Olympics, that was great. A little duct tape and I'll be as good as new. It's like everything that's good about gymnastics with all of the things that are terrible about gymnastics removed. Snowboarding's in the Olympics for a while. happening sometimes when I'm like going over an edge. It's like my character starts spinning forward. I need to figure out why that's happening. Generally the controls in this are very uh, intuitive. It's 
So far this game is more my speed, like, obviously I'm not good at it, but I feel like if I played this for a while then I could conceivably get good at it. satisfying. That's like the uh, all the UI stuff that happens in Burnout 3 when you like smash another car into a wall. Jump does that generally put me pretty far behind if it's like one of the main jumps? Oh, wait. Yeah. I wish the progress thing on the left was accurate. Seems to mean nothing. Stuck, sorry. how much of the course you're allowed to go to. It's kind of unexpected for me. Nope, not making it. The real section is this level's version of the, the glass half-pipe. Does that? Marty, you're not a graceful kitty, Marty. 
Thanks for the select tip. So you always lose some time for that, but it prevents you from getting completely stuck. You lose momentum or whatever. Tree last time. forward in that section. This one's quite a bit harder. I am Rozel here at Mesa Blanca. Oh, that's cool. There's a lot of like little alternate paths. Imagine this game is rough to do like PvP if one person really knows the map and one person doesn't. This game have a, a solid multiplayer. Check out the view back here. Practice this and be decent at it. Every time I play Tony Hawk, it's like I'm just like fighting to survive, basically. Right there, I may hit that tree again. All right. Almost the end of the game. Right. Just stay away from the rails, I think.
Okay, <laughs> I'll take it. I don't know how you're supposed to make that. Bravo! First place and in record time. The semifinals are called. Just need to do that two more times. <laughs> With no enemies in the pack, this should be a walk in the park. Go! I like when you can have multiple different games that are kind of exploring the same sports subgenre, and they try to like pick a mechanic to focus on. I like the idea of the friendship meter. That's kind of cool. I guess there was that shortcut in the last level that got me so far ahead that I was able to just crash into walls for 40 seconds. Oh, that's cool. So usually those SSX glasses can be broken through. But the, if it doesn't have the SSX logo on it, probably not. Oh, I found a secret. Okay. I get knocked out by that tree that time. So bad at that? Crap. If I get fourth, that means I lose, right?
I feel like when I jump over that thing, I just go into the water. Try to do the jump and have to restart, but I guess that time it kind of let me do it ish. Go! The semi final! Indy! How are you doing, Jerry? Holding forward causes me to lean forward in the air. I'm trying to do that in lieu of holding down X because I can cancel it. Hey, see ya! Come hey, what, uh, you don't mind me asking, what have you been watching on YouTube? What, uh, was the first video that got you on the channel? Nice to meet you. Playing the new league. Hey, Simon! Hey! No passing on the shoulder! I like all those barks between the characters, it's fun. Most of them hit the wall. That one tree again. Let's see what that's 
number two. This one's gonna be a face. Oh yeah, I'm really excited to play Outer Wilds. Definitely one of the best games I've ever played. Nothing else out there that's felt like it. Perfect. That's the deadly tree, I think. I think these rails are unusually punishing if you bump into them compared to other obstacles on the sides. I don't think that the starting boost is going to be that critical given my lack of skill at the game. No enemies. If you keep your hands to yourself, this could be a nice clean race. Go! Hey, thanks for subscribing, Jerry. Welcome. Uh, pick you up with some perks here. It's good to have you. Hey, so I'll get you a voting currency multiplier. And if you'd like to see me play a game for about an hour or so, or a block. You know what game you think of? Should be a whisper here on Twitch, or you can uh, join our Discord and DM me in there. Tag me in one of the channels in there. And I'll get you scheduled. Thanks so much. This one isn't that critical because the track is long. Great. Plenty of time to rubber band. snowboard in one of these, you would die. You would go in between one of the slats, hey, Luther! and it would flip of you course. forward and you would you die. Know this big... <laughs> no. You have plenty of time, and if you can't think of a game, um, you can always bank the hour. So basically, people take turns picking games, and when your turn comes up, um, you can just choose to set the hour aside so that when your turn comes up next time, you'll have two hours instead of one hour. So no stress. Let's double check the game's database link to the stream there, see what we've already played. It helps you narrow it down. I know it's gotten pretty hard to pick stuff because we've played like 780 games on stream. Hey! 
Oh man, things are just falling apart at the end here. Let's unfortunate those and at least get third. I tried grinding them the first through two times through it, and they just don't want to let me touch them for whatever reason. Saying that too is gonna beat him. come out from re getting lackitude and like Peace fall on my face. Ah! That keeps happening too. I don't understand that. I made that jump in. Whatever. Sinful. to hold forward to get speed instead of holding X because X keeps getting me in trouble. I guess I gotta let off of it when I drop. interesting that it starts you partially in the air when you press select like that. You know, like a couple seconds to accidentally crash into your face. It's like if you jump over and miss it, you're just in big trouble. I see. stick whenever I'm near. Maybe that'll help. There might be a lot of smaller little jumps in this one that are causing me to face plant.
That was basically all speed loss due to pumping into that rock, right? That's why they all just passed me there. Trying to take that as a shortcut and then just get further behind. If you can. so well for a second. track by the time you have to do it for real. Here seems to like wipe out the same way that I do. I also like the sound effect for getting in the first place. It was a very satisfying like user interface. Overall, let's not go along that side. I crash every single time. Move to the back. 
back of the books. So at least I didn't touch the walls that time when I touched the walls immediately. Really need that speed up. I gotta keep practicing this jump because I've only made it like a couple times. Okay. Sorry, I'm very bad at this stage. Time to get spawned in on top of another person. I had a temp a little bit ago that was going okay, and then I choked in the last round. Oh, are there shortcuts that I'm missing? Because I found some in most of the other levels. Jump later than it seems like. Earlier, I mean. Yeah, yeah, that's a good trick. Yeah, baby. Hey, man. Oh, yeah. through the rail. Yeah. It's tricky to rock 
Glad that that system works. <laughs> you can also, uh, on that spreadsheet, there's a list of commands that you can type in chat. You can type those directly. If you have any questions about the stream systems, let us know. It's a little complicated. Uh, I do have an FAQ down there, too. I'm sure, folks would be happy to help us. decide when I should be restarting because it feels like the rubber banding is less aggressive on this map. If they get an early lead, it's kind of hard to catch up to them. Maybe it's because they're less likely to crash into rocks or whatever. Oh shit, I was trying to do a thing there. Sucks. It really slows down around these curves here. Got on the rail that time briefly and the speed difference was palpable. The computer doesn't go on the rail though. I'm gonna be able to be on it for a second too. First try, golly. Yeah! We got this I just yeah. made yeah. my own day! Fantastic rating. Congratulations! Your top three placing has opened up your next challenge. Don't forget to You're run. moving to the next venue. You're Sorry, Marisol. Points and tricks make you spin more. Yeah, finally got the jump. Oh, this is interesting. I don't think it was asking me to do that before, huh? See you, Jerry. Thanks again for subbing. Welcome. Have a nice rest of your day. Bye. After an incredible first year hosting the Meltdown, the mayor of Mercury City has challenged the designers to take it to the next level, making it the biggest and baddest course of the SSX circuit. Early indications from the riders is that they may have been too successful. <laughs> Oh, I see. 
Do the ranks actually do anything? I or those so just like ready to get it all. representing what no level you're on? Yeah, this is pretty cool. I definitely prefer stuff like this to like simulation stuff. What is is there a like real simulation of snowboarding series? are always shortcuts, right? Let's see them. Shout out to my guns! Maybe the main reason I was struggling with the fast level though just didn't have vision for the shortcuts. And therefore I was forced to actually race, which I'm bad at. to this most everything else. Okay. This reminds me probably the most of Burnout. Sinful mean? Is it just a kind of trick? It appears to mean something like goofy. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. What you mean about the physics making the boost work better in this? Shit. It's been going so well. me having to switch monitors I can barely hear that all year it's tricky it's tricky what is he saying something something rock the rhyme it's tricky it's tricky okay so I bet if you can get in that tube you get a big oh thanks game shunting me onto that that didn't look like I was gonna make that Basically, a racing game or was it a trick game? God, these fucking things. Where are these from? Tinley Hawk. Like a 
aim for more simulationists. This definitely does feel like a big string of Sonic levels. Like modern 3D Sonic. Now it's burning. I think I hear it. It's tricky to rock over. Better if I have more speed. Sinful Indy. Yeah! K motor mode, oh, jeez. Man. What a timely reference. Fifty-six K. Top of the line. Rock and roll. Nothing but sad. I do like the banter quite a bit. It's cool.
We need to see something different. Game sample is truncated. <laughs> Just put a sock in it. The rival time. Incredible run. You should watch the replay. E. Qualified. Gout tubers and gout weed. It's the worst thing. No friends. To Go. Mini game in RuneScape where you have to like clean up this village, like chop down jungle weed and build fences. And while you're chopping the jungle weed, it takes like I don't know, 10 seconds or so to resolve. And then once it resolves, there's like a 1 in 100 chance for something good to happen. You go dry in it, and you're stuck there for a really long time, and it's pretty miserable. Trying to get the gout weed or gout tuber. So that'd be a pretty good shortcut if you commanded at speed, which I did not. Situation where I have the opportunity to go straight. I'm gonna go left or right, going straight tends to give me a lead. Not sure if that's accurate. Though. doing so well at first. Right there, there is there's anything. I thought I had super meter. I wasn't trying to do a special trick there. Oh, 
Stopper. I did it again. One trick, winter step. So if you choose to go that way, the other way is maybe longer. Or it could just be getting confused. This level seemed way easier than the previous one. But... Congratulations. Your top three placing has opened up yeah, your next bad at the last section. Megaplex venue. Tokyo Megaplex. Move on to the next course. You have achieved star status. Very cool level. Ranking of star. Get to the side, cause I'm the bone cracker. But come from behind on the back attacker. They give me an outfit. Okay. Skunk work. So this one isn't strictly better like all the other ones were. Set up. Select event. Me Tokyo Megaplex. Where tech. Well, that's the next level. We were in Mercury City. Okay, my bad. With even more hazardous moving parts to give it that super expert rating, Tokyo Megaplex will be more of a challenge this year, even for the SSX veterans. What Three the hell? <laughs> it's getting crazier and crazier. Levels, the the descent into madness that is SSX tricky. Year. Although it starts with like a pretty reasonable first level, this is awesome. <laughs> like in a giant pinball machine, I love it. I like video games that go crazy like this. Hey, do you need a quarter to play this course? And there's Eddie Wachowski having a stretch. It's a star. <laughs> yeah. to show his stuff to Go! This is the Tokyo Megaplex. <laughs> 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 So maybe this is less like Burnout and more like Mario Kart. <laughs> but I love that they trick you. It's a snowboarding game. You can do tricks. Love Mario Kart to have like the first cup just be four like photorealistic courses.
That looked like a thing I could open. Western dev too, right? He didn't just like publish it. This is extremely silly, I dig it. Okay, I see it's laps. It's cool. Shout out to our Why do you stay on a rail? Like, there's a, a feel to rail grinding in Tony Hawk that I kind of got from handle on. Sideways. Let's see. Big air bonus. Bonus. Yikes! Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wake me up when I'm winning. No, oh, go in the thing. Fuck. <laughs> Tell me I'm out there. So cool. Well done. A third. The semifinals are That level's really, really awesome. If like the whole idea of sharing SSX tricky is to get to this level, <laughs> I get it. It's very cool. Kurt levels do get more absurd over time, but it doesn't really hold a candle to this. Check out the view back here! Bonus. See, so any of those green switches will activate or deactivate the next thing in front of me, basically. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
Activate and they deactivate on a timer, okay. It's pretty chill. style. I tried to turn sideways there, it looks like it just moved me off the thing. for so long. Appreciate that you don't ever have to like straighten it out. You know? It seems like having your board pointed perpendicular to the direction you're traveling just slows you down instead of causing you to wipe out. D-pad spins you analog, so I should turn the D-pad to rotate on the half pipe or the railing. Great sir. See how there's like a shortcut, like a ramp you can fly through there?
Bad start. Forget that it's going to do a longer animation. I get in <laughs> Sorry, Luther. How dare you take the shortcut? Only I may do that. Probably the level I will remember from this game. Hey, I hit it wrong. Push me down, basically. Big air bonus. Come on, Eddie. Come on. Oh yeah, you're the showstopper. Gonna make it. One more chance. I don't actually like getting washed up. I feel like I lose time when I do it. So if there's a red exclamation point, that means he's going to try to knock me down if I get close to him, basically. Fucking sweet. Sweet and for everyone. Record coming to us. 
It wasn't really worth it in terms of like progress to the stage, but it gave me a bunch of gear. Yeah, I like that orchestra hit when you get into first place. That's really cool. First place orchestra hit. I'm a big fan of the, word of the, day is Ow! the It's Tricky Turn fanfare. Your top three placing has opened up your next it? challenge. The tour continues. Aloha Ice Jam. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard. I, I like Run DMC, but I've never heard that song. Excellent sample. 
Aloha Ice Jam, followed by Alaska. Yeah, I noticed that earlier. It slowed way down. The crown jewel of the SSX World Circuit has undergone some changes this season. Chiseled from the polar ice caps and brought to the South Pacific locale in beautiful Hanalei Bay, Hawaii. What the fuck? This course has 18,000 feet of new shortcuts, making it more fun and challenging than ever before. <laughs> what? <laughs> The most dangerous stands, spectator stands of all time. A spirit that yearns to break free and fly. You show them, Eddie. You show the world. He went this. I'll take them high. You take them low. Got it? You got it. With no enemies in the We're like the silhouette of Eddie. He looks like a cartoon character, and then some of the characters look slightly more humanoid. And when they're, they're next to each other, they look really weird. It's funny. Penguins in Hawaii, this is normal shit. This is the most Japanese game played in the West, or made in the West that I've ever played. <laughs> That would probably be my my pitch for this game is like oh shoot, I thought that would be a fly through it. Giant monster mouth, of course. Come on! I thought we were right! <laughs> oh yes, the classic giant offshore Hawaiian luge. Crazy mega structure. They only thought about if they could. They didn't stop to think about whether they should. That stage is great too. Big fan. Can you imagine the like 
the state of a society that would build something like this in Hawaii. Sounds like something you would say when you're losing. Hey, penguins. told me SSX Tricky is a extremely silly Japanese riff on snowboarding, like I would completely believe you seeing this product. So I'm really surprised that it's like it's, it's like an EA studio. But it's creative and weird. But every Canadian game that I know of. Into that and lose. <laughs> Bravo. First, move on to the next race. Bioware. Bioware before they got cannibalized. They have a sub brand called EA Sports Big. They have the really odds to make silly sports games. I think this was kind of the golden age for AAA games, like the PS2 era. We can still get really, really good indie games and games from small studios, but this is around the time where I think your dollar could stretch as far as possible. spent to ideas manifested ratio if that makes sense um, and I hesitate to say that because it, it sounds very like nostalgic longing for a better time but it's not necessarily that like I, I think games could be that today it's just that capitalism exists <laughs> unfortunately I'm more I'm not really saying that oh Game devs were different than I just mean there was an interesting intersection in technology and cost that I don't think we're going to see again for a long time. Unless if there's like a culture shift where people are willing to make games that are more lo fi or low budget on purpose. The entire credit to Yoshi's story is like 20 people. Yeah, exactly. What the fuck? It's insane. If I were to be nostalgic, I would say the Super Nintendo is the best era. I mean, that's something I would say from a position of nostalgia. You know, people aren't as into 16 bit as I am. And that one New Mexico level was really hard, and since then it's been kind of reasonable.
Yeah. Well, I think that um, it's pretty good right now in that you can get things on really, really cheap sales on things like Steam if you're willing to wait a couple yeah! years to play stuff. But I just made my own day. You've got the goal. Congratulations. The tour continues. Well done. You're an SSX veteran. But I definitely say that not from a point of view of like, oh man, the PS1 or the PS2 is so awesome and it's never going to be like that ever again. Kids these days don't know. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. No, no, no. Just saying, like, it would be interesting to try to look at the incentives at the time. Right? Technology, the cost of doing things, the minimum team size you need to make a thing. Yeah, this is a pretty solid example of it, right? It just seems like the creators were given a lot of freedom to go where they wanted with it and get weird with it, which is fine and great. Select event. I think there's an element to it where, like, as a game gets more expensive to make and as you have to increase the size of the team, it ends up requiring more more money and so there's more potential for meddling i think by people who aren't creators people who are interested in in the money side of it trick chapter But there's even like random in objectives North, and challenges in like the Tony Hawk games that just kind of blow me away. That like, the wow, it... Alaska, the newest member of the SSX circuit, surviving the onslaught of obstacles Football. and conditions on these slopes is a badge of courage that few can boast to wear. Now Alaska needs to have like mongooses since we had penguins in Hawaii. The invasive Alaskan mongoose. It should be a brilliant contest. Look for Eddie to shine on one of his favorite courses. Hey, Luther, you're so fat the back of your neck looks like a pack of hot dogs. Shut your cake hole! No enemies in the Stargate this race. Cool. I briefly made Luther into an enemy, but then I. I ended up failing there to restart. Welcome to Alaska. This is safe. <laughs> People do that for like uh F1 racing. I guess like with F1 racing they're at least doing laps, so maybe you'll get to see it a few times, but. It is funny to me. I'm buying the zoom past. I'm trying to think of a game that's come out from one of the big developers like EA or Activision or... Be soft, a rock star that had, that had like a scope similar to this. I think the scope is the thing that's the most interesting. Not bigger than it needs to be, right? It's got some cool ideas, it's got some depth to it. I don't really struggle with those kinds of jumps for whatever reason. Mm, nice. Yeah, F1 race is a 40 day game. Whereas this, they're just going down the hill one time. Getting 
wrecked over here. A hard stage. I love how the, the Mega City Neo Tokyo level was not the final level. <laughs> In just about any other game, that would be the final level. Like, it's almost funnier that it's just like partway through. Hey, we're gonna do this now. Alright, and now we're going back to snowboarding. I mean, yes, it's a giant ice luge in Hawaii, but... I started this game like, okay, this is Tony Hawk. I'm gonna try to do tricks. And then I'm just playing like, wait, no, this is a racing game <laughs> that lets you do tricks for some speed boosts and stuff if you were good at that. But... It's like a snowboarding inspired racing game. I was really asking questions about, like, oh, well, how do the physics of snowboarding work? <laughs> this isn't a snowboarding game. <laughs> you may as well be in a cart. I guess you have some maneuverability stuff that feels like snowboarding, like pulling back to brake. Fucking cool. Major King Top, baby! That's pretty good. Good job, Steve! Woo! Trick, trick, boost! That was a cool level. First place. This, this game has really top tier track design. Very impressed. What's the Metacritic for this? Like, did this do well when it came out? This is the exact kind of game that if I, if I like, saw it at Walmart in the games aisle, like, it wouldn't register in my vision, you know. But it sounds like it was pretty popular at the time. Me too, okay, that's pretty good. Talk about hitting bottom. Oh, 92. That makes more sense, I was to say. I think 82 is, uh... A little harsh. thing is that I stopped holding down the X button in uh, the New Mexico level and tried just holding forward. And I think holding forward makes you go slightly faster, but not as much as holding down X. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, 
92 is already like anything above 90 is impossible. <laughs> like <laughs> it's it's the A plus that no game can achieve. That's right, I've never played it before, or I've never heard of it before. I don't know what I was expecting, but I was not expecting this. It's very cool. Seems really good. Great level design, great sense of humor about itself. Saying this feels like a, like a golden age video game. Parts of the tricky meter give you more speed when you boot and hold boost to them. Oh yeah, baby! Player one, number one is a shove away. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Coming in for a lanky maneuver. Big air bonus. Now this is a well done. PS2. First place to get a frame master. Record time. You weren't home. This game run okay on emulators. I had to buy it on eBay, which I mean, do that before I usually get some on Amazon. I only have one unopened copy on Amazon for like a couple hundred dollars. We're gonna find it somewhere else. The fight bell is gonna come down, that's great. Everything with sound in this game is like perfect.
had some major issues on PCX. PCSX. What's the state of PS2 animation? I have to emulate a couple of PS2 games on the stream and it seems to work okay. I have this like 15 year old perception that PS2 emulation is bad and it would be bad. Must have been some like thing I read that was about how hard it is to emulate the PS2 back like 15 years ago. And it just stuck in my craw that okay, well, this is never gonna work. Because something like Dolphin is like borderline perfect for most games. Or if it's not perfect, there's usually some kind of hack you can install that fixes whatever the problem is. Exclamation point will hit me if I get close to him, right? That Is that because I hit him earlier? This again. Player one, you are number two. It seems really hard. Looks like you need to have a speed boost to be able to get there. So the boost on the right side. No such luck here, it looks like. Frame rate issues on Dolphin for this one. For the GameCube version of the game. It's too bad. That was always the thing that I liked about the GameCube when I was younger was that this is the one where everything runs at 60 frames per second. It looks super clean all the time. section is really cool. Like, the gimmicks in, like, the Neo Tokyo level were, like, the gimmick itself was kind of a funny idea, but it also makes for some interesting levels, you know? I've played games like this where it's just, it's just the gimmick, and they're not introducing a new idea, or... Doing something beyond just, oh, look at this silly thing. Okay, still got it. <laughs> kind of close. Yeah, I've heard PS3 emulations also really bad. They'll likely be really bad for all eternity. Oh, what's up with that? It's like <laughs> taking candy from a baby. Crash into first. You've got the goal. Congratulations. I, I...
Your top three placing has opened up the apex of boarding experience. Teleporting? The untracked course. What? Proceed to the <laughs> next level. Hey, Max Stability. Yeah, this is great. Oh, is that the end? Or there are like other modes or something? Show off is the same tracks, but it rates you based on your trick score, right? Are there any codes in this one to unlock things Welcome like in to Tony Hawk? SSX Tricky. The game did save, right? It's like saving constantly. World circuit. Select character. Yes. Options. Have it. Let's caution. On track has a DMCA track. Is there any way I can disable specific songs before I go in? Thanks for the warning. Options. The right to choose. Game options. Options. What's your style? I guess I could cut the game audio. Select character. Or... Who do you? Elise. Marisol. Select mode. Practice. You've got to start some. Free race, the same thing as practice. Welcome to F DVD content. Trick. Never seen how do you make referred life to as DVD content before. Trying to see if I can turn off tracks. These are like cutscenes. Select mode. Are you up? It's in the options. Options. Game options. Or was it on that that uh, DVD menu? Welcome to SS DVD content. Jukebox. Jukebox. This is just letting me play each of the individual tracks, right? Yeah, I think so. Base Invaders is an excellent name. I don't think there's an option that I can Welcome find. To... Select mode. Practice. Select event. Trick. Free. Only the trick tutorial, or I guess I can pick that and then I can pick a level, right? Single event? Okay, thanks. Going back to it. Select event. Single. Set up character. Select event. Select difficulty. Pipe dream. Untrue. Double and free ride on. How do I select free ride? Oh, it wasn't practice. Okay. Makes it sound like that's a tutorial exposed to No worries. Mm. 
Uh, there are a couple games. Like, I think I could affect which songs would and wouldn't play in, like, uh, Tony Hawk when I was PS1, right? I'm just gonna try to turn the game audio way down. Maybe that'll accomplish it. And hear my uncomfortable voice without backing. Some of you may recognize this secret mountain peak as the treat from the first year of the SSX circuit. However, now you can enjoy a first ever descent down a never ridden path on the newly discovered North Face. Enjoy it. You've earned it. It's all good. The newly discovered North Face. This only unlock after I beat Alaska. I'll try to play something in the background so you're not just hearing, you know, my uh, air conditioning. Hmm, okay. One sec, sorry, I'm just trying to get some music. This is just like a giant empty area for you to like jump around and do uh, crazy tricks on basically. Get the things in their trick books. Okay, so this is the level that's like maybe slightly more like actual <laughs> snowboarding still a little video gamey but ah uh, okay sure so the draw on this one is that tricky is sil is particularly silly and has things like the crazy pinball neo tokyo level another one in addition to this. Okay, cool. I'll turn off the Let Us Quest music after this. It'd be easier to do to try to focus on doing tricks here since there's like it's so wide open that I can uh, think about it more and not worry that oh if I'm mid trick I'm gonna like turn a corner and drive into a luge. Show off levels, distinct levels. I thought it was like go through the stages you've been to, and now it grades you on trips. Okay. Let's 
so many trees. Whoa. That's cool. Well, thanks for that heads up about the DMCA. I appreciate that. Once we get out of here, I will turn the audio back on. That was a cool stage, though. It's neat to see it as, like, a foil for the rest of SSX Tricky, right? If nothing else. Welcome to SSX Tricky. Horse is perfect for the beginner rider, that's me. Gorgeous addition to the SSX world. No, I don't think so. Um, this theme is lame is featuring this for a sub block the subscriber they can feature your game for a little bit of time on stream. So I think that the objective is just to see as much unique content as possible. This is a cool game. I might play it off stream. Show it to Andrea. I think she would dig it. She just told me about a, a snowboarding game that she used to play. I think she said this was the PS1. I thought it was Cold oh, Workers. So Crystal multiplier. Much greater than the metal points and complete the track to unlock items. in like race mode so and I'm bad at doing the tricks so I don't know if I'll be able to beat the first level Shit. that would give me a multiplier for the trick I was doing there Kind of in the same stage, but it's definitely its own thing. But they add a bunch of stuff to make it easier to do a bunch of crazy tricks. Because I wasn't high enough. I don't think it's the snowflakes, that makes sense. Already nutty enough. Technically better than the gold one. I feel like I need to get that jump in order to have any chance, right? This name is lame has been quietly screaming for the last four hours that I haven't been spinning or flipping. I didn't do it in Tony Hawk either because it would usually result in me dying. Beat show off by getting third or better in 
Oh, hey, lovely. Oh, I love this game. You do? Is this what's up? Is it It's tricky. Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Julie Martin had this game. I didn't have it growing up, but my cousin did. So was my wife, Andrew. Man, everyone knows this game. <laughs> Never heard of it. Really? No, like I said, if I saw it in a Walmart, I would just... It's tricky. It, would have looked at the box art and it just would not have registered in my brain at all. I was missing out, obviously. It's a very cool game. Oh, Digging it so far. Yeah, I played um, Cool Runners. Cool Borders? The cool Borders, yeah. Mostly, or Cool Borders 2 was the one I played a lot of. I hit it the first time. I don't seem to be able to do it again. Unfortunately, you're missing the, you missed the good part. Now we're in the part that I'm really bad at. So. Oh. Now we're in the Tony Hawk part. <laughs> I did the racing part, which I was only kind of bad at. Shit. Go! What do you know about the game? What's the title and the general time frame it came out? I mean, you're not really going that fast. We don't want to do okay. It's like you're, you're not going to do anything. I'm forgetting that I'm supposed to do tricks, yeah. <laughs> you're to do a trick, just to give a really long ball. Like, that's an opportunity to do a sick grab or flip or something. Andrea is just saying, with this name is lame, has been too polite to, to scream. <laughs> Yeah, it is the it's tricky. It's tricky. Yeah. We're on DMC. Call your mom in the room and show her how great you are. Probably should just like keep trying, I guess, even though I'm really bad at it. Yeah, practice. Stall out of the flip, should be able to finish it with the analog stick. Time bonus. Where did the time bonus come from? Is that from like getting a pickup somewhere? So does that exist to keep me from like spending a bunch of time in one area trying to farm for points, I guess? You know you can ride those rails, right? Yeah. Two times multiplier. There you go. And then do a cool flip. Yeah. Well you tried. I need a day off. X boost for nothing. That was cool. In bronze, it's not happening. Bonus times two. Front side three sixty. Give me the frequent flyer. There you go. Are you do a flip. <laughs> do a flip. You get points for breaking the glass. Uh, I don't know. I think it's just like a way to indicate there's a secret here. Yeah. You got. I got. I'm glad I got to play the song for you. That's all I was trying to do. Uber is a, one of the tricks. <laughs> so I was like, if anyone's spending 14k on an Uber. I guess, like, are you going across the country? Super just mean, it's just German for super. I was very confused for a second. <laughs> but then I figured it out. Oh, I figured it out. I guess it's German for over, technically. Road trip, Uber. That one. Oh, oh look, you got first. It went fine at the end. 
Okay. <laughs> Pull it up. I came, what is with your hair? I saw, I kicked some booty. Congratulations. You sure did. The goal can well done. You've advanced. Switch cut buster error. Nicely done. You're now a champ. Oops. <laughs> The later ones are a nightmare. What's the code for the special level? Pipe Dream? It's a crazy level in this. It's like Neo Tokyo. Oh, fun. Yeah, it's like you're like snowboarding around inside of a giant. It is kind of like Rainbow Road. You're like in a giant pinball machine. Yeah, that's really cool. I was never able to do that. I was only ever getting boost from like knocking dudes down. You're not really me, are you? Have you ever played a video game that would use a sample from a popular music track in such a cool way? Like, <laughs> just like, I think it's neat. Welcome to SS Go on R1. I hope you brought warm clothes. X, triangle, right, circle, square, down, triangle, square, left, circle, X, up. I heard a little noise. I think it unlocked the level of it. Is it World Circuit? Select event. Pipe dream. Defy the laws of Show only. Oh. Free ride in single event. I guess I'll do free ride. Set up character. Make sure. Sync. Practice. Select event. Set up character. Pipe dream. Pipe dream. Here for the sole purpose of showing off your style, take a smart line to scoop the bragging rights on this one. Good luck. We're all counting on you. Okay. Super expert. Oh, well, that's not... That isn't me. Normally you have to like 100% everything to unlock this. You know, I've never really thought of England as like a ski destination. Well, there's a level in this one that's Hawaii. They install a giant ice lube in Hawaii. I definitely don't think of Hawaii uh, as a ski and snow penguins. destination. Wait, they even imported penguins? Only one thing, prepare yourself. It's England. England. This is definitely England. The essence of England. You should have like a giant I big dream. Lots of rails something. makes this a great place to show off. Oh, is this is this like the Tony Hawk level, basically? <laughs> That's funny. So can you just stay here indefinitely then, since it's more like a skate park? England. The Hawaii level is really funny. Like you like the the finish line is a beach, but there's like snow on it. You spared no expense. Oh, this is Thailand. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Oops. The little bull was uh, giving like me uh, flashbacks. Fucking sweet. He did, it sounds like he's saying fucking sweet. What's he actually saying? Milky? Maybe. Silky? Game, silky sweet. Maybe that's it. E for everyone. I have to put this on a different monitor, so that's why you can barely hear it. I can barely hear it, too. 800k, wow. Don't expect this to work like a half pipe in, uh... Now you're playing with style. Stale face. Kind of works like one.
This is a cool idea for a bonus level at the end. I dig it. it seems appropriate. Should have the queen in the audience. <laughs> tea or something. Should have seen the. Spiky was laughing about it. There's like spectator stands at all the levels, but they make no sense. Like, you have to be like airdropped in there. And you only get to see the race for like three seconds. You know how much those tickets cost? Nope. <laughs> I wanted to hear the it's tricky. That was the opposite of tricky. Yeah. What you just did there. It was an embarrassment to the whole snowboarding community. Oh yeah, this is a very normal thing to do as a snowboarder. Every snowboarder expects to do things like this. This would like work with physics, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, physics seems okay. Ish. You just took a flat board to a to a half pipe. I mean, isn't that what like Sean White does? Is there like a whole sport associated with that? That was a hell of a Take life a flat, up. flat board to snow and you slide and. Well, I don't. This isn't snow. This is concrete. What? It's snow. What was it? You think this is snow? Yes. You see how it makes a little. Dust? Well, that's 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 because of the effect of the game for. But see, it's making a little indent as you're going because it's snow. Look and you look at the little snowflakes. Look, the... Talk about it. it is very <laughs> obviously snow or ice. I will I will also accept ice. It's a big see, crazy like... snowflakes. What do you think that is? Gravel. <laughs> Oh, you idiot. Look, why are you leaving a mark behind you? Is it wet concrete, Dylan? Is it wet concrete? You're leaving a mark behind you because they made an engine for the game that assumes that you're snowboarding on snow, and they made a level that's like... I guess this part looks like ice, yeah. I could see the ice here. I actually don't know how to get out once I get into one of these. That's why I restarted earlier. Hard pack snow. Oh, okay. Gotcha. This place must be really expensive to maintain. <laughs> oh, you can still hit select to get out. Okay, thanks. I want to see what else is in this stage. Nothing but staff. Give yourself a high five. That was a source of points we've been doing all along. That's real? I had no idea. My bad. Take it back. Have you never watched the Olympics? No, I haven't. You don't watch the snowboarding Olympics? I've never seen the snowboarding Olympics, no. So you don't know who Sean White is. I don't, no. Don't, I'm pretty sure that's his name. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, he was like, you know, the fucking Nancy Kerrigan of snowboarding. Yeah. Except he actually won gold. Oh, too soon. Oh my god, what's with the, <laughs> the, the Luther statue back there? That was funny. So we can go back. I think that's his name. Does he have his own half pipe like in a mountain or something? They dye it red like that so you can see the He's angles. He's got like crazy red hair. Sean White's one of those names where it's like that scene from The Office where he was like, what's the name of your dentist? It's like, dentist. It's like, it sounds a lot like dentist. Maybe that's why he became a dentist. There's a couple people in there. He's like the Tony Hawk of snowboarding. That's a better comparison. <laughs> He's like the Tony Hawk of snowboarding. Everyone knows him. What's it called in Tony Hawk to like get off the lip of something? Oh, right, I can press select. Stop sucking? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> no, I haven't. I've never seen the Winter Olympics. Dude, it's super impressive. That's cool, though. They like jump real high and do flips and shit. Reveal my ignorance. 
So that building isn't completely absurd. Like that could actually be a real park or the scale of it is absurd, but you could make a simple one out of snow. You explain the Sean White scale. The scale is absurd. Okay, thank you. It's making sure that like everything I know about reality isn't wrong and that there aren't giant insane snow parks like that all across the world. Now, usually, like, in the Olympics, it's only a half pipe. That's it. Looking you just, sweet. You just do the half pipe. That's all you do. You don't do, like, an arena. I don't think I've ever seen a skate, a snowboarding arena right. like this. This game is really cool, though. Um, real life. I have it now, if you ever want to play it, Andrea. Okay. Um, I liked the level design a lot. I thought it was really inventive. I said earlier that it's definitely... You know, it made me think of the golden Welcome age of AAA games. That this was a really good area this in the sense, or a good fun. era in the sense that um, games cost just the right amount <laughs> without being too expensive. That you could make it with a pretty small team in a pretty reasonable time frame and like manifest your idea without there being too much meddling because the project was too expensive. And I wish we could go back to that. Uh, thanks very much for sharing this. This name I liked it quite a lot. Um, I think it sounds like if there are other games that were more like the, was it the untracked level? I didn't hate the untracked level. That was also cool and different. But if the other games are more like that, I'm glad you picked Tricky because this is, this one's my shit. Nor near that big. Okay. <laughs> 